I have nothing against raisins. They're compact, nutritious, vitamin-rich, and tasty. I eat them when I hike, and they actually make bran appetizing. I really like raisins. When they're in a box of raisins. When I don't like them is when I'm eating a Danish or a cinnamon roll or something, and for the first three or four bites, it's raisin-free, and then all of a sudden, and without clearly distinguishing itself from a dead insect, I'm chewing on some little rubbery, wrinkled morsel of undeniably bug-like dimensions. Similarly, I've got nothing against Christians when they come in a box clearly marked Christians. I can't imagine an atheist walking into a church and saying, Hey, what's all this talk about Jesus, guys? Can't you see you have guests? Like every single atheist I've ever met or interacted with, I support the right of all people to believe and worship whatever the hell they want to as long as they're willing to shut up about it during grown-up time. As long as it doesn't get all mixed up in decision-making that affects others, you can spend your Sunday mornings being loved by whatever fictional character raises your pup tent. But if people constantly showed up at my door to ask what brand of raisins I preferred and whether I was prepared to accept their brand as the only true raisin, I would hate the fuck out of those people. I'd probably start a podcast about what a bunch of assholes raisin evangelists are, and I'd probably start a YouTube channel, Twitter feed, Facebook group, and blog about it like I did for this show. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. My problem with both raisins and Christians is that they're subversive. They sneak in places where they're not welcome, they intrude on otherwise secular pastries, and they seem to think that they have a right to be there and be all raisiny whenever the hell they feel like it. I remember the families that would give out pamphlet ads for Jesus on Halloween, despite the fact that it's a secular holiday by any reasonable standard. I remember finding a Bible passage on some toy my unsuspecting atheist uncle gave to me. I, I remember finding Jesus ads on school handouts, and I remember finding whole fucking sermons in the middle of Snoopy cartoons. Christians would look at this list and see nothing subversive about it at all. What's wrong with giving out information about Jesus? What's wrong with putting our worldview out there? What's wrong with a message about Jesus in the middle of a cartoon about a Christian holiday? Of course, it would never occur to him to flip the question on its head and imagine Linus taking a couple of minutes to refute Pascal's wager during a Thanksgiving cartoon. But it's a secular holiday. Shouldn't it have a secular message? They'd go apeshit if I started handing out little pamphlets of Dawkins quotes with my Halloween Snickers bars. Fox News would probably be at my door by November 2nd asking why I hated America. They'd be apoplectic if some toy manufacturer snuck a few sentences of David Silverman's talking points on the package of their toy, but they seem incapable of understanding why this stuff pisses me off. Instead, they just talk about the angry atheist and the Jesusless depression that must fuel my animosity, all the while they sneak their stupid little pamphlets into phone booths and subway stations and restroom stalls and airports and all manner of places we wish we didn't have to go, and they see nothing wrong with that at all. And of course they don't. They've been programmed to believe that we're all going to hell, so if they've got to corrupt a parent's autonomy to raise their child how they want to, that's a small trespass if the result is saving a soul. It's despicable to annoy secular people on their deathbeds with last-minute attempts to wash their dirty brains, but to them it's virtuous. A soul lies in the balance. How could they stand silent when he was so close to the end, and he wanted nothing more than to not be harassed by used afterlife salesmen so he could enjoy the remaining hours of his life? Sadly, there's very little secular equivalent to this. Hell, we're not even allowed to put up billboards verifying our existence if the nearby community really, really needs it. Our existence, after all, challenges the most pervasive and some would say most important fiction at the heart of the religious virus. The notion that we need God. If we set out to evangelize, we might not need pamphlets or slogans. We might make some headway just by knocking on doors and telling people, I just wanted to let you know that at some point I'm going to die and I'm okay with that. I fully recognize that there's no post-mortem magical six flags waiting for me and yet I live an inspired and contented life. And until we can make them understand that, I'm going to stay vocal. I think reason is worth standing up for, and to be perfectly honest, I think it says a lot about my worldview when it can grow and thrive despite not having any computer-generated anthropomorphic talking vegetables to sell it.